Basements underwater, driveways soaked. We saw actually several people out in kayaks. As Freiburg's fire chief points out, about two dozen homes on Lovewell Pond are flooded. The pond on the Saco River trapped melting snow and heavy rain this spring. That's why yesterday Freiburg's fire and police departments went out in an airboat to check for hazards. We wanted to make sure that if we did find any floating propane tanks that the propane lines feeding the homes weren't broken. It's not the first time this type of flooding has happened. In fact, some of the homes on this pond are raised. Those that aren't look like this. It was up to the axles. Brian Cranny drove two and a half hours from Peabody, Massachusetts to check on his summer house Wednesday morning. He says he raised his house 20 years ago, but still clears out the basement in case of a flood. You make sure nothing's on that cellar floor. Others, like his neighbor Scott, I didn't think it was going to be this high. Are year-round residents stuck until the water recedes. Because usually we wait it out. Murky as this situation may seem, look at the pond surface and you'll see why these homeowners want to be here. Oh, this is well worth it. This is what you live for for the summer months, you know? There's a beautiful sandy beach right in front of the house. In just a few weeks, they'll all be relaxing on their porches again, leaving this year's flood behind to the beavers. In Freiburg, Dustin Lukowski, News Center, Maine.